Hi guys. We're Welcome in another mall. mall. <laughs> this one is like a bunch of malls combined. We're in like the farmer's pale place or something right now. And then there's mall. Kavow, there's like Ollie Mall or something like that. So many it's malls. The Araneta Center, I think it's like a whole complex. Is my people. This is where the SB19 concert is. Amazing. Um, it's currently typhooning right now on us. We're getting typhooned all over. So we're in a mall. We gotta go to a mall if the rains are a heavy. And it's a pretty small mall. It's no SM North, that's for sure. It's a big escalator. This is a, it's a big one. Why is it so wide? I don't know. They, it's for three people. You've had three people on this escalator. Good. You can feel it. Maybe even four if that's you're a, adventurous. That's impressive. Oh, this just keeps going up. Mm -hmm. So, we're working on. Oh, a Dairy Queen. Very delicious. We're working on getting um, microphones. It's a little hard for us shipping-wise. Yeah, we're trying to figure apartment. out how to get a P.O. box soon. So we can also ship my new phone over. Because I think... And get microphones, hopefully. The audio has been an issue. Obviously, there's a lot of background noise. There's a lot of people talking in a lot of the restaurants, especially, that we go to. So the microphone is essential. The GoPro isn't doing it anymore. The come on GoPro, not cool. It, it, work, it works really good in nature. It does work really well in nature when it's completely silent. Whoa, they have a Novotel? Oh my God. They ripped us off. They did. They paid to charge us like 80 bucks for laundry. That sucks. Farmer's Plaza Bazaar, that's the one we're in right now. Oh, I love bazaars. Maybe this is a different section of the bottom. <laughs> Maybe they'll have fresh pineapple, and then I won't have Maybe to stab the can again. With a knife? Yeah, with a knife. Oh, that doesn't look like farming things. Those look like shoes. Can people grow shoes? I think so. Where's the farms? Hey, those shoes look pretty big. They might fit your feet. They might, might be. <laughs> Boy, what are they saying? Translate somebody? Someone translate. Thank you very much. Oh, is this where you lost your phone last time? Uh, it might be. This is, I can get a new one here. This is your chance to finally, to finally redeem yourself. Ah, uh, yes. You can make a, I got my phone stolen in the Philippines and a, I got my, I bought a new phone in the Philippines. Good. <laughs> oh my God. The Farmer's Plaza is the best thing I think we've seen so far it's in the not, Philippines. It's not as extreme as the uh, the Green Hills one. And why the heck is it called Farmer's Plaza? Why is it called Farmer's Plaza? There is a, not a single farmed thing in there. Should we start interviewing people and ask if they're farmers? We probably should. All right, go up to this guy, ask if he's a farmer. Hi, sir. Are you a farmer? Are you a farmer? You should go over. Walk up to somebody and ask, excuse me, ma'am, where are the farmers? Uh, any farmers around here? Farmers? Excuse me, ma'am, where's the best farmers market in Qui-Gon City? <laughs> <laughs> you think they'd know what we're talking about. Let's go. We need to we need to pre-game before we go to the buffet. Uh, yeah, I think that's what, even though there's amazing desserts there. We need a pre-game, baby. I've been wanting DQ ever since I saw this place. Whoa, they got cakes? Oh my God. That sounds super good. Oh, that does sound super good. We should get it to go. Just carry it the rest of the day. We'll get one of those when we hit uh, 50,000 subscribers. Oh, yes. More cakes. We're just going to have a whole bunch of cakes when we hit 50K and a Q&A. Q&A at 50K. Let's do it. All right, let's go Gateway. Max's. We almost went there yesterday, but we went to Aristocrat instead. And it was pretty tasty. Go check out that video. Yeah, it's pretty fun. This mall is weird. This mall feels this mall feels incomplete or really old. I can't tell which I one. I can't tell either. I can't tell because there's definitely parts that are just like empty. I mean, clearly. So what is is it old? I don't. Or is it being built? The new Gateway Two Mall. Uh huh. Like uh -huh. no mall you've ever seen. Really? Sorry, no, like no mall in the world. We've been to the Dubai Mall. Is it the Dubai same? Mall. Wow, well, that looks pretty cool. That looks fancy. It looks so white. Very cool. Oh, look at they have water inside of it. 
is really weird. I feel like we're like in a stadium. Like this we're is like Galway. It's just it's definitely a stadium bomb. It reminds me of the Metrodome. Just goes. And then you walk out and then there's trees. Very cool. Is there a zoo in the middle of this? Oh wow, we ate there. It was very expensive. Mary Grace? What? They have a Taco Bell here. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Very Ooh. sick, Mai Tai. Wow, it's like a hotel lobby. Oh, it's actually outside. Huh? It's actually outside. We could eat out there if we wanted we to. We should, we should. Eating outside is fruit Thai food. Oh, very sick. Eating Mary Grace carrot cake outside in a super typhoon? Oh! In parentheses, we met Mary Grace? It was only six dollars? Oh! I don't know where we're going. I don't know, we've just kind of... It's crazy, we've gone up and we've just kept walking straight and we haven't like reached anywhere yet. No, we're just... It's like it's it just, just keeps going. Power. There's another Dairy Queen. Why are there so many of the same things? Dairy Queen, donut thing, and Pizza, Pizza Hut. Hut. The heck? It's making me want. Is they're doing a good job? They I want are, they Dairy are. Queen now. If they just put it in front of your face eight times as you walk in a circle, then you have to buy it. What the heck? Where are we? Is this a. Is this, a, is this an MRT? There's another Pizza Hut. I'm sorry, malls, but we have a date with a hot pot right now. Time for buffet. I want just want a donut wall and a chocolate fountain. Oh. Watch them not have it there. They took it down for COVID. I'd probably destroy the entire place. I'd pour the hot pot all over the floor. Oh, on yourself at that point. On my, why ooh, why not? Just go for it. Okay, we're back to the, we're back to the beautiful garden over here. Very nice. I don't know if that guy's ever getting COVID. No, he, he was full on. Jesus Christ. That's Is that the Gateway Mall? Hopefully it's not. Thank you for abiding the crosswalk. Wow, look at this, so fancy. It's like downtown, it's like old downtown Vegas. So fancy, it just has less lights. Almost like no lights. None at all. It's just a cover. Wow. Oh, there's some lights up there, I guess. Uh -huh. It is fancy. It's like downtown We Vegas. went to the Vegas of the Philippines? <laughs> San Francisco of the Philippines? <laughs> is this the Philippines or Italy? Oh my gosh, so modern. Travel vloggers are rough, bro. We will use all of those titles sarcastically. Yes, we will. So, be ready. Oh, oh. Is this hit rapper and artist a baby? So many Dairy Queens, it's insane. Taco Bell? Wow. Yeah, th this place truly has it all. It really, really does. And it also has a buffet. A buffet, a hot pot buffet. And last time we were really bad at hot pot. So I bet you we're gonna be even better this time. Let's, the only way to find out is to try. Here we go. And there is Krispy Kreme. So if all else fails, we can just go to Krispy Kreme. Just get double does and each eat a does for dinner. The, everyone said we should do the, the Mang Yen Asal challenge, but we could just do the Krispy Double Does challenge. We made it up ourselves. And it's pretty epic. Oh, what is this? Sunflowers? Wow. And finally, we made it to our objective. The McDonald's. McDonald's. Wow, we really can talk a lot. We can. I. We can talk uh, just nonstop, but in, in the end, all I want is just some fracking food. Well, good thing there's a Tim Hortons right here. Timmy Hortons. Timmy Hortons. Timmy You've never Hort been to Timmy Hortons. I've not been to Timmy Hortons. I haven't either. I, oh, I haven't You've been, been to there. Canada, though. I've been to Canada. I've, I've been to Canada too. They have them on every corner of Calgary. Hello, everybody. We're in a very fancy buffet. Look at this. 
so fancy. Uh, everyone wanted us to go to Viking Buffet, but we're going to the Four Seasons Hot Pot because we could get in this one. Yes, and it was just where we happened to go for today. So yeah, perfect location, perfect time. The audio is going to be really rough. It is already packed in here. We were talking about getting mics earlier, and we will need them for sure in the future. So uh, bear with us. I don't know what's the best option to do for this. We don't know what we're doing either. We just have this empty. And she said we can go get some food. Okay, let's do it. This is all hot pot. Oh, look it. Okay. Oh, that's us. Oh, I, thought, I totally thought that was people over there. <laughs> Yo. Nachos. Nachos, yummy. Cheese sauce. Sushi. Sushi with stuff on it. Oh, yum. Tempura. Whoa, what is this? I think that's a food you can eat. Can I stick my finger in it? Yes. Ooh, pineapple, I like pineapple. We have pizza. Some stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. Steak. Chicken, we're showing. Gravies. This is overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff here. We're not used to this. This is a lot bigger than Golden Corral. Much bigger. Golden Corral kind of sucks too, so this better be better. Display only. Dang, nabbit. We can get mug root beer. Mug? That would uh, be better than that though. Okay. Some like Chinese stuff. Babe. Oh. All right, let's load up. We kind of went through what, see everything, let's load up. <laughs> oh, I don't have any sauce for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be dry. So many things to try. What is it, pork? I think so. No big bite. That tastes really good though. Much better than any of them we've gotten so the far. The Chow King? Yes, the Chow King. The hot pot has arrived. Oh, it's watermelon juice. It's very watermelon -y. And it's very yummy. Very yummy. What kind of thing did you get here? Got some Kung Pao chicken. Oh, yum. I didn't see that. Doesn't look as red as Kung Pao chicken I've seen before. Sorry. Thank you very much. Oh, very professional. Thank you very much. Is this spicy Kung Pao? I like my Kung Pao a little spicy. It must have been with a, when whatever vegetable that was. I thought there was some spice at first, but there's literally just none. none. It tastes really good though. It has a weird rice with hammy in it. I think I just got basically the, uh, the normal rice. Very Is cool. it Spam? It could very well be Spam. It looks like it might be Spam. I'm not sure. Diced Spam, baby. Or hot dog. Or that hot dog that was in the Chow King thing that wasn't hot dog. Pretty solid ride. Dang, damn it. What a epicness. I'm gonna start with this the sweet and sour pork. Sorry. That cooled off really quick. It did. I noticed that my Kung Pao and the Chow Mai were pretty cool. That's pretty good. It's very weird to have this type of. Like, I've only ever had chicken like this before. So having pork, like this Chinese style, is really good. Different texture? Way different texture. I didn't get any sauce, unfortunately. It's gonna be dry. I got the normal. It's like is chowkin. It the asado one. Yeah, I think so. It tastes good. The inside is really nice. Really nice. Now the Uber version. I wonder what's gonna be on the inside of that. Yeah, is it, should I throw it in the hot pot? Oh, you could. Is it gonna be like cream in the inside or is it gonna be, it wasn't in the dessert section. It wasn't, that's what I was worried about, but it would be really good if it was cream, wouldn't it? It would, let's see. Like purple. Why not in the dessert section? Ooh. How sweet is it? It's, ube isn't that sweet. Yeah. No, it's like straight ube. It's like ube rice paste in here. It's, it's really good. Very ube. Ube, ube. Next time it's going in the hot pot. It's pretty good. Now we can hot pot it up and eat some rice. I can't wait to drop the GoPro into the hot pot. Hey, it would be more flavorful. Delicious. Uh -oh. All right, guys, we got some meats here to hot pot. Obviously, we're hot potting experts, so I'm going to demonstrate to you how much of a, an expert we are. First, obviously, you gotta get the corn in there. Throw two in each side, you know. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know what the difference is. Tyler said he got these just based on recommendation of the waiter. So we don't know what the difference is of these hot pot things actually. I have no clue what these things are. They look very intriguing. This is gonna be simply terrible. He, you made some sauces? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they look appealing right there. Thank you very much. Split that up there wasn't here. a ton of meat options like last Really? Time. No, there's like three different types of beef, no chicken or anything. So this is a uh, sesame peanut sauce. Sesame peanut sauce, okay, yep. so like some Thai sauce we uh -huh. got going there. And this is a sesame spicy garlic sauce. I like the double sesame move. Thank you very much. I thought, ah, oh, sesame's a good flavor. It is, yeah. <laughs> My favorite of flavors. Stir. Can you give me a green bean, please? A green bean? Yes. Green bean for the green bean. Thank you, I'm a Jim Bean boy. I'll get myself a green bean here. We gotta stir the pots with the green bean. Oh, okay. Sesame oil real goes to the, really goes to the top. Is that a banging, banging sauce? I did very well. Green bean. Yummy. It's interesting. It's like a six out of 10 sauce, I'd say. Thank you very much. You're That's welcome. Very impressive. You need to try the peanut sauce? Uh-huh. That one's mostly peanut. It looks like it. I didn't really get much out of it at all. You didn't get any peanut? Oh, I got a bit of a peanut aroma. Dang, oh. nabbit. Wow, look at all this delicious stuff. Go ahead and go ahead and try some, buddy. You said you're just gonna take your meat and just bloop, 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 bloop. I have a feeling this is gonna make it taste amazing. It will. The spicy sauce, so good. Oh. Spicy garlic sauce, everybody. Spicy garlic bloop, sauce. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh yes. Oh, you dipped it in the peanut sauce. <laughs> That's some good sauce. It's some decent sauce. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, God, great. <laughs> I put so little in there, too. I was like, yeah, this is probably going to be really spicy. It was like, it like hit me right in the back of the throat, but then I kind of went away. Uh, so that was the beef with the spicy sauce. Now, Red boy? Red boy time? I don't know what's in this. With the peanut, peanut sauce? Holy <laughs> nuts. <laughs> All right, let's try this red boy with the peanut sauce. Oh, a hot. <laughs> Is it good? A no for me on the peanut sauce for that one. What? Come on. What's the peanut sauce? It's so peanut. <laughs> <laughs> the peanut sauce is too peanutty. I didn't. I didn't put enough sesame. It's like if you were to, you know, when you open a tub of peanut butter for the first time, yeah. and it's got that like liquid on top. Yeah. Like if you were to just scoop up all that liquid somehow and then cover it in a dumpling. That sounds delicious. Doink, dip, doink. dip, dip. That sauce is definitely the better of the two. Well, that's not bad. Ooh. The spice hits you in like a very centralized pocket and then it kind of goes away. Yeah, that's not bad sauce actually. Whatever the spiciness is, it's probably all you taste. Yeah. You have the red one, I'll have the... Wait, are these both red? I think that one's orange. This I think orange? Different one. I don't remember what the difference was. I think one was beef with chili. And one was beef with something else. So that's maybe beef with chili? Then? I won't be able to tell because all I'm going to taste is spice now. That's pretty good. It didn't taste like peanut butter, which I like. <laughs> Come on. 
I think you're gonna go for the corn and the peanut butter combo. I'm just kidding. Corn and peanut butter? Yeah. That's the combo today? Or I could put wiener in the peanut butter. Oh, wiener. Wiener, wiener, wiener. Peanut butter. Oh, what the? Oh. But yeah, and then we just have vegetables and hot pot. The soup seems to be pretty tasty. It does, yeah. I still don't know. I couldn't tell the difference immediately between the two. Oh, wait, this is it. The corn is it. Wait, these are both in a different one, weren't they? Yes. Here we go. Can you tell the difference? Especially when the last one had peanut sauce on it. Absolutely cannot tell the difference. But it tastes like beef. Beefy boy. Let's go see what else we get at the buffet. Ooh, yeah. Whoa! This is my second plate. Look at all these fresh fruits. And the bun. And a bun. It's a dinner roll. Let's see if it's up to my bread standards. No. Oh. Really? It's not very soft. It's very dense. Look. It doesn't smoosh. It just kind of bends. If it doesn't smoosh, it's not good. It, it's bending. Thank you for joining uh, Tyler. Tyler's Bread Talk. Bread Talk? Like the store? Wow. These look like the ones I used to have when I was a kid out of the can. Let's see if they are. Those are pretty good though. They definitely are out of the can, but those are very good. These might be one of the best canned fruits behind pineapples and cocktail. Fruit cocktail is very good. How was your corn? We come from the land of corn in the U.S. And this was a bit tougher of corn. Not up to standard? It's not up to the corn standard. I'm just, it, it was good though. It's not sweet enough. And Filipinos love sweet stuff, everyone said. They should get sweet corn from Minnesota. They should just fly it across the world. Perfect. We got some pizza? Pizza? Is this straight out of Little Caesars? Wow, it looks like Little Caesars. Very small pieces. Oh, very. Oh, very white and flowery. The bottom is so flowery. My tongue touched it and then it just got covered in flour. So all you taste is flour? That's like half the flavor. It doesn't look like there's a ton on top of it. Look at that. Whoa. Is the dough good? It's pretty good, yeah. And then there's just like a little bit of like a sweeter marinara sauce on there. And then... Tiny bit of cheese. Yummy. It's alright. Sushi taste test? With a fork? Very tasty. Oh. Wow, more things to try. What a beautiful day. Should I put this into the hot pot? Uh, yeah. So this is the Korean tteokbokki or whatever. Tteokbokki. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. Something, it, ends, it has K's and it ends with an I. So, it's like rice. Just covered cake. in like a spicy sauce, yes. right? It smells spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. Good. It does taste, it's not, it's different because you expect something to be that spicy to not be chewy like this. So, you gotta just keep chewing it to get it down and the spice just keeps on coming. Oh, it's like a punishment. Mm -hmm. The texture is very nice though. Satisfying. Very satisfying. While also getting pain. It's a really nice texture. The ta it tastes really good. I, I like that kind of spice, but it definitely, it sticks around a little longer than the, the delicious sauce we have right here. Oh, we really used up all that sauce. Yeah, we really did. But I also got vegetable tempura. Looked a bit soft. Yeah, it's been sitting out a while. It's not 100% warm. The incubation is not working fantastically for this. I expected the buffet to create crunchiness. Wait. Oh, I heard a crunch. You guys probably didn't hear the crunch, but this one, this is shrimp. Oh. And they didn't have any on the thing. It was totally gone, and then the guy's like, sir? And I was like, okay. I gave him my plate, I was like, is he deep, re deep frying these or something? And no, he gave me these. And they must be more fresh. They're hotter. You know what I mean? Definitely warmer, definitely fresher. I'm very yummy. Ooh, burny. That's so interesting of a food. We will have to try it when we go to Korea. Definitely. And I bet it will be way spicier. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Oh no. Don't ask for the spice level, just get it. Just get it. They like 
Do you want it less spicy? No. Just say, su surprise me. I hope you're evil. <laughs> Dessert time, everybody. And we went for it. The donut wall gave its offering. The cake wall gave its offering. The cookie with cream on it gave its offering. And of course, the ball. The graham cracker ball. The graham ball, I think it was called. Grammy? What the heck is this? Whoa. Look at this mush. It's silly. Oh. It's just chocolate mush. Chocolate graham mush. cracker around it. What the heck? I mean, it tastes good, but not expected. I expected it to have a little, like a donut hole or something. It wasn't. All right. Let's see what this chocolate cake is like. Better be moist. That frosting is really good. It's like whipped frosting. Really yummy. This. It's like an Oreo deconstructed. You're supposed to shot glass it, right? Yep. Oh, -ho! it didn't work. Worked so well. Shot glass like this. Is it an Oreo? Quadruple stuff? Quadruple stuff? Quadruple. Yeah, it's just like cream and some Oreo crumble on it. Pretty good. I got some. Two rice uh, dessert things. Delicious. And then the donut. I've noticed, look at the. That's pretty dense. It's quite the cruncher boy. A crunchy donut? And then also I got the cookie as well. It's is a crunchy donut what Krispy Kreme wanted to be? Because they're called Krispy Kreme? Krispy Kreme donuts. They wanted Krispy Donuts. But they're soft. They're the softest donuts of all time. Oh. Like a like a caramel cream on top of it. The cream is very interesting. But then it's just on top of the rice cake, which doesn't have, you know, a ton of flavor. So it's just you get the flavor on top, but then there's nothing below it. It's not pretty good though. Now this one. We have had attractive. This one's much softer than that one. No, they found a the flavor. <laughs> Definitely fun to chew though. See the how this donut oh my God, is. They crunched. Let's see how the crispy donut is. Crispy crunch. Are you telling me right now the donut wall isn't offering you the best donuts of all time? It's bread. Like, a, like what do you mean bread? Oh. Wait, give me a, let me try this. It's like, it's sort of like that donut I had in India, that one bakery in the Mangalore Mall, where it's just bread. It's a lot, I mean it's soft in there, like, it even smells like bread. I mean, donuts are also very similar, but it's, this is just like a, sort of like a bun basically, in its donut shape. Still pretty good though, but it's not a, that is weird, it's weird. This is quite the mound we got here. You want a cookie? I expect everything in one bite. Oh, obviously, that's what I was thinking too. And it can't touch the side of my mouth at no. all. Oh no. Uh, the tea. Oh, that was close. Regret? So it's like the exact size of my entire mouth. <laughs> so I tried to move it to chew it some more and then it would go down my throat. Oh gosh. All the comments. Don't do food challenges, you're gonna choke. <laughs> yeah, we will. I'm not too focused on not choking. Now I'm getting some of the flavor actually, like focusing on it, but it's pretty good. It's very, all the whipped cream was just all over. You didn't do it, you didn't do it the correct way. It's like with the rice, you have to do it like this. Oh, you gotta hide it down. Probably. I've never had a cookie like that before. What kind is it? It also kind of looks like banana. Bread. 
Oh, well. Oh, no. It's so kind of crumbly. Weird. Look at these guys. I think it's it, different though. I think it needs the whipped cream or else yeah. it wouldn't taste very good. And the little chocolate on top. Yeah. Well, messy. Delicious. I thought you're doing it. You make your own hollow hollow here. The redemption story today. The redemption. Thank you very much. I'm doing leaf hole. Where does the ice come from? This thing? Yeah. Wow. I don't know the ice proportions. Wow, that is like a that's piece a, that's of like snow. Bubble. It's literally the slush you get. Is that enough? Probably. What is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Seems to be a large portion of this small cream <laughs> container. <laughs> is it gonna be too creamy? Impossible. Let's, Alright, let's get some banana. 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 It looks a lot more white than last time. Banana? Yeah, it's way more white. There is some of this. Bong. Wow, this is looking like I like poured milk into a bowl. <laughs> okay. What the heck is this? Dog? I don't know. Bong. Bong. Okay. I don't like the beans very much. Well, that's my hollow hollow so far. Thank you much. <laughs> it looks exactly like hollow hollow. Thank you for participating. <gasps> oh shoot, I need a plate. Um, I put too much ice. I will find a plate. Hollow hollow got it wrong. Can I get the uh, ube ice cream? Uh, ube, please. Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> well, we got the ice cream at least. That's the most important part. Alright, the creation has been made. Oh. <laughs> it looks like milk. <laughs> the cream proportion, I think, was correct. Wait. Hello, hollow, hollow, everybody. Has the redemption been completed? Watch the taste. It's you might be judging the appearance right now. Don't judge a book by its cover. Look at it, it's turning purple like yesterday's hollow hollow. Oh. Don't judge a book by its cover. The more purple the better. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Watch. I love how it's how much is on the plate again. It's gonna be good. Good? Way better. Way better. Welcome. The uh, banana's like... Oh, you yeah, really gotta crunch it. It's like the plantain thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, remember last time I said it was terrible this time? It's delicious. It's really creamy. <laughs> it looked very creamy. Oh. Well, if you want to make hollow hollow, just follow my instructions. The true Filipino way is this way. Thank you very much. Try to avoid the spilling part, unfortunately. Oh. You just always have a plate ready. Yeah, if you if you got a plate underneath it, then you can also do the after plate lick. Uh, uh, after. After. After you eat it. Thank you very much. All we right. have a few more desserts left. We're getting full. I'm practically dead already. Gonna die once we get back. Um, I tried some of the churros. They're disappointing. They we're probably out there for a long time. Yeah. Oh. Got some rice cake thing again. Not rice cake thing. It's like a cheesecake type thing. Oh. It has the same crust as the Mary Grace one. The, that like more crumbly sticky crust. That was really good. I'm so full though. This is called chocolate pudding. Oh, that cheesecake was really good. I really like that. Chocolate pudding. Interesting. Was the label wrong? 
I don't taste any chocolate. It looks like bread pudding. It is, I think. Was the label just wrong then? Maybe. <laughs> it, 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 yesterday it was chocolate pudding. That's definitely just bread pudding. That's pretty good. The cheesecake though, I think it was the best dessert I've had. Wow. Fancy. Yeah. That was the Four Seasons Hot Pot Buffet. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. We had a lot of different things. That's the really good. Are. The watermelon juice. Hopefully you all enjoyed. It was pretty good, very fun. Uh, hot pot's always interesting because we suck at it. So, so we tried a tiny bit of hot potting, <laughs> but overall we just ate a ton of buffet stuff. So. so what's the difference between this, that it's owned by Viking, and a Viking buffet? Let us know down in the comments below. They had a wall of donuts. They did have a wall of donuts. It was crispy donuts. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, everybody.